and Frank was born on June 12, 1929, in Frankfurt, Germany, to Otto and Edith Frank, a Jewish family. The Frank family lived a comfortable life in Frankfurt, but in 1933, Adolf Hitler came to power and began implementing anti-Semitic laws and policies. In 1934, the Frank family decided to move to Amsterdam, the Netherlands, where they hoped to escape the growing anti-Semitism in Germany. In Amsterdam, Otto Frank established a new business, and the family settled into a comfortable life. However, when the Germans invaded the Netherlands in 1940, the situation for the Frank family became increasingly dangerous. In 1942, the family went into hiding in a secret annex behind Otto Frank's business. And in her family, along with another family, the Van Pels, and a dentist named Fritz Pfeffer, lived in cramped quarters in the annex for two years. During this time, and kept a diary in which she chronicled her experiences in hiding, as well as her thoughts and feelings about the war and her hopes for the future. The diary, which in named Kitty, was an outlet for her to express her fears, frustrations, and dreams, and wrote about the difficulties of living in hiding, the conflicts between the families in the annex, and her hopes for a better future. Tragically, the Frank family's hiding place was discovered by the Gestapo on August 4, 1944. And in her family, along with the Van Pels and Fritz Pfeffer, were arrested and taken to concentration camps. Anne and her sister, Margot, were first taken to Auschwitz-Birkenau, a concentration camp in Poland. There, the two sisters were separated from their parents. Anne and never saw her mother again. In October 1944, Anne and Margot were transferred to Bergen-Belsen, a concentration camp in Germany. Conditions at Bergen-Belsen were appalling. And thousands of prisoners died from disease, starvation, and overwork. Tragically, Anne and Margot both contracted typhus, a deadly disease that was rampant in the camp, and died on March 15, 1945, just a few weeks before the camp was liberated by British forces. Margot died a few days later. After the war, Otto Frank returned to Amsterdam, where he learned of his daughter's deaths. However, he was able to recover Anne's diary, which had been left behind in the annex moved by the power of Anne's words, Otto Frank published the diary in 1947, under the title, The Diary of a Young Girl. The diary became an instant sensation, and has since been translated into more than 70 languages. Anne's diary has become a symbol of the human cost of the Holocaust, and the power of hope and resilience in the face of unimaginable hardship. Her words have inspired millions of people around the world to stand up against bigotry, hatred, and prejudice. Today, and Frank is remembered as a powerful voice for human rights and social justice. Her legacy continues to inspire people around the world to fight for a better future, free from discrimination and intolerance. In addition to her diary, and Frank's legacy also includes the and Frank House, a museum located in Amsterdam that is dedicated to preserving her memory and educating visitors about the Holocaust. The museum is housed in the building where the Frank family hid during the war. And it includes exhibits on Anne's life, the history of the Holocaust, and the importance of tolerance and human rights. The Anne Frank Foundation was established in 1963 to promote the values and ideals that Anne Frank stood for, including human rights, social justice, and peace. The foundation supports educational programs, research initiatives, and other activities that aim to combat racism, discrimination, and prejudice. And Frank's diary has had a profound impact on people around the world. Her words have inspired countless individuals to stand up against oppression and fight for a better future. Her story has been adapted into plays, movies, and other works of art, ensuring that her memory will continue to be passed down to future generations. However, Anne's legacy has not been without controversy. Some critics have argued that the focus on Anne Frank as a symbol of hope and resilience has overshadowed the darker aspects of the Holocaust and the suffering of millions of other victims. Others have criticized the Anne Frank industry, which has grown up around her memory, as exploitative and commercial. Despite these criticisms, Anne Frank remains an important figure in the history of the Holocaust and a powerful voice for human rights and social justice.
Her diary serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity and an inspiration to generations of people around the world.